engineers. All right. Well, as you can see, I've made a few changes here. Uh, let's see. I have uh, started putting up the framework for three new refineries. And uh, this is after having made uh, like three new uh, runs out to uh, mine more ore. I've got quite a bit of it queued up here in the refinery. And I've been refining the uranium first because, you know, uranium is power and power is life and so on. I've got like uh, 263 uranium ingots in here. And uh, the main reason it's in there is so that I can show how much I've managed to accumulate. But uh, now that I have done so, I believe I can let's go to the reactor just so that I can get the right one. Small reactor two, conveyor system on and it will now start pulling that uranium into the system into the reactor so that uh, I will actually know how much power oh, fuel time that will add up to the two days that it displays right now will be going up as a matter of fact uh, yeah I can go ahead and speed that up reactor 2 find the refinery there it is and just pull this in there there and now I've got six days of fuel time with ev with uh, everything right now running okay also made a change over here to the assembler added a couple of modules to that we have uh, a productivity module and, well, two productivity modules on there. Okay. And the refineries each have two productivity modules and two effectiveness modules. The productivity modules make the thing work faster, and the effectiveness modules means that I get more ingots per unit of ore. And uh, the new refineries are set up to have those modules as well. Okay. Now, under here, I did use the hand drill just a little bit in destroy mode to clear out some room. I have started putting in the conveyor system that's going to tie this whole mess together. And uh, part of it is already complete, but I'm going to have to add on to it for the new refineries and so on. Uh, over here, I have rearranged things a little bit. The oxygen generator is now right here and it will be tied in with the conveyor system so that uh, any system or whatever that needs oxygen or hydrogen and any source of ice will be connected to the system. Ice will automatically get pulled to the conveyor through the conveyor to the uh, oxygen generator which I suppose probably should be a, uh, renamed instead of oxygen generator perhaps it should be called uh, uh, electrolysizer or something like that and of course I've not only moved but completed my uh, med bay I don't remember if I mentioned that before or not that I had actually completed it but yeah things are going here and uh, I also modified the welding ship a little bit. I put a conveyor on it and uh, hooked it up with a uh, connector so that it can dock with the station and uh, be able to transfer oxygen and hydrogen as well as items and uh, so on so that for those times that I choose to AFK I can do so in that cockpit and not have to worry about suit oxygen, power, hydrogen, or anything like that because it'll all be provided through the conveyor system. All right. Uh, main thing I need to do at the moment 
is uh, to get the rest of these refineries finished up and get the conveyor system that connects them going finished up, that connects them finished up. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that, get those things finished, get the modules on them finished up, and then come back and hook up the conveyor system that will get it working. And then there's another little uh, thing I want to do that involves making it easier to uh, know what I've got and where and so on without having to dig through this this control panel every time. Oops. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these things up and running and I'll be back. All right, all of the new refineries and modules are all welded up and assembled. And the next thing I need to do in order to bring these things online and have them able to do anything is get everything tied in with the conveyor system. Let's see. Yeah. All right, here we go. So beneath each refinery, I've uh, set up to have a conveyor and then I just have to run some tubes and the refineries will then be able to pull ore from storage containers or connectors or ships that dock to the connector and so on and start refining it with the productivity and efficiency modules or effective modules whatever uh, they will be somewhat faster at uh, refining them and the productivity and effectiveness modules by the way are vanilla blocks alright let's see I'll need to grind this down and for the intersection to place in another connector, conveyor, and then get some tubes going to the other conveyors, and that'll have everything connected. Then I want to do something that will make it a lot easier for me to keep track of what's where. Uh, let's see. Uh, and actually, since there are no T connectors in the conveyor tubing, wrong pipe, that here, another conveyor there, and there, and then let's see, hello G menu, hurry up, conveyor and cargo blocks, I need some conveyor tubes. like that'll pretty much do it for right now. Get these things welded up. And we'll get this thing in business. This way it'll be able to process ore a lot faster. Because right now I can bring the ore in a whole lot faster than this thing can process it. construction components. Of course I am. And more construction. I'll weld up what I can right now. And then I'll go back and get as many as there are. Alright, construction components. Okay. I hope that's enough. It should be.
that's got all of that taken care of. And now I can go ahead and fill in the holes in the deck that I left so that I would know where to place things when I put the refineries up. refineries doing anything at the moment no they're not because they will they they do default to having uh, use conveyor system on but they're going to pull from cargo containers and connectors and such like not other refineries so let's see take the magnesium take the cobalt Take a mess of the silicon. Let's just go ahead and throw those into the cargo container. Along with this other stuff I don't need to be carrying right now. And the ores got pulled right out. So that means some of them are pulled here. Actually, it looks like they're all pulled there. Yeah, there's gonna. I'm gonna have to do some work to uh, ensure that uh, one refinery doesn't end up grabbing all of the ores and uh, as they say there's a mod for that and I am going to get to that soon however first I want to get to the point of having an easy time knowing what I've got and where and I think in that with that idea in mind I'm going to put a forward wall here uh, at least most of one as a place to put some LCD panels that I'm going to set up to uh, have the information I want on display easy to get to so uh, I'll go ahead and get some steel plates and uh, build out this wall position some LCDs and I will be back all right, I've extended the station forward a block so that there's room to do everything and uh, gotten, well, half a wall or a little less in there because uh, I wanted a place to have these displays, but I did not necessarily want to close the whole thing in. I'm not sure yet whether I want to use glass and if so, how much here. Plus, I also have to figure out an airlock solution. And I haven't quite gotten there yet. Uh, let's see. One more thing to place is programmable block. And I'm actually going to, let's see, rotate that around. Okay. Bang and bang. And put two of them in. I need some motors, displays, and large steel tubes to finish that up. motors, large steel tubes, and some displays. Which should be forthcoming. It's got that one going. And I'll go ahead and finish this one too, although I'm not going to be using it right away. I will be using it soon, which is why I'm going ahead and putting it in now. All right, let's see. All right, now this thing, if I go ahead and. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, control. Okay, yeah. I need to do that from over here. Which is just as well. Okay. Uh, control panel. I need the LCD panel. Alright. 
no, I need a program block. Where is it? Programmable block. All right. Program. LCD. LCD. There. Okay. This one I'll get to later. Now, LCD panel. Alright, this one, uh, let's call this one Power. Power LCD. Okay. Now, if I'm remembering how to do this correctly, the public title. Use text commands. And show on screen, show text on screen. Public. Font size 0.7. That's probably going to be reasonable. And then private text. workshop and I need configurable automatic LCDs and then check code and remember back remember an exit and then just run okay yeah there's our power situation. Reactors generate, which is all of one right now, generate 15.5 megawatt, and they're running at 35%. And actually, it is more than one because there's the one in the sh small ship, which is currently connected to the system by way of the uh, connector. Okay, so there's the power situation. Now, to start on inventory control. All right. And the thing of it is, is that one program block will handle all of these LCDs. All right, control panel. All right. just so that they all show up in the right area in the list. I noticed that's sorted alphabetically. So... Uh, LCD, power LCD, and this one will be LCD... or... and it has to be tagged with LCD like this at the end. Show on show text on screen public font size 0.7 ish. As a matter of fact, this one's font size could actually go up. Just go ahead and make it one right now. Or LCD. see make sure I'm doing this right here I have not used this before public title use text commands in fact I should be able to just 
Control C to copy that, paste it in here. All right. Private text. So what the program block does, the program in that program block will read the private text and use that to determine what the public test is actually going to be. All right. And for this one, Inventory S plus ingot. And that should give me. No, wait a minute. The asterisk. Because that's going to be looking at all inventories. Alright. And now if I go to the program block and just run it. Well, apparently I've done something wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured it would happen. Now, this is right. Show text on screen is supposed to be public. Public text doesn't need anything in it. Public title is use text commands. Okay, I just had to run the program block again. And what this is showing is a summary of what ingots are available from gravel, iron, nickel, so on and so forth, all the way down. Now these quotas can be changed and uh, I'm going to look up the details of how to do that so because I don't know that I need to have a hundred thousand iron ingots but then again maybe it might be necessary so I'm going to look into changing those quotas now the next one is going to be dealing with uh, components. So program LCD component LCD show on HUD doesn't need to be on. and public title use text commands private text inventory asterisk plus component and I'm going to say 300 for right now as default amounts plus steel plate spelling it right is important and a colon there 2000 so it's going to have 300 as the default quota for components with 2,000 as a default quota for uh, steel plate. All right, go back to the program block. Run it. The display has updated. Okay, I'll probably need to turn the font size down a point or two, but that's giving a full summary of what components are available and uh, 
progress bars to make it easier to visualize and so on. Yes, I'm going to have to turn that font size down. And I will. But now, of course, I'm not going to sit here and run program block every time I want that updated. Oh, no, no. We're going to use a timer block. All right. Uh, timer. And let's see. Computer construction component and interior plate. Computer construction component and interior plates. Okay. Now the timer block, I don't need to have out there. So I'm just going to stick it underneath the station here. It just simply needs to be attached to the thing. All right. Go ahead and weld that up. And then go back here to, uh, well, let me stop at the med bay, which now that it's hooked up to the conveyor system, I can get uh, not only power, but oxygen and hydrogen from it as well. All right. Okay. Control panel. Component LCD. Let me turn that font size down. All right. Point seven. Yeah, I can already tell that's better. All right. Okay. Where's the timer? We'll name this one Program LCD. Set the delay to one second. Setup action. We need the program block. Where are you? Program LCD. Drag that down here and run. Don't need an argument. And timer block program LCD. Drag that down here and start it. So what this timer will do is it will run the program LCD and then it will start itself. And that means, oh, there is one little detail I need to do. Find the timer. Start it. Now it's running automatically. All right, great. Which means now that these displays get updated once a second. And that is great. Now I'm going to work on uh, coming up with uh, numbers that I think are more appropriate for my situation for the quotas there on the ingots and uh, so on. And uh, probably adjust some of those numbers as well. And uh, this second program block, I believe I'm going to be using uh, in uh, some automated uh, manufacturing once I have more assemblers put together. Certain things will be manufactured automatically as needed. And uh, also, I believe there is... Uh, well, I know there is. There's, there's, I just don't remember at this instant which one it is. There are so many. But there is a mod or a program block thing that, uh, program block code that will handle distributing ores to the refineries in such a way that it takes advantage of all of the refineries and spreads the load out to get things done faster. But this is a start. This is useful information, very helpful, 
I'm gonna have to see about maybe making it bigger, because I was actually kind of hoping that from here in the command seat, that uh, even if I just, oh, no, uh, using the V key or the external, or the, yeah, okay, there, Alt to look around. But I was kind of hoping that that would be readable from here, and not really. So I'll have to look into that and see what I can do to work on that. But it's a step. It's a step in the right direction, and most importantly, the information is all here in one place that uh, is going to be easy to keep track of how much I've got what. And uh, there is going to be some automated manufacture of components. But at the very least now, I can look here and say, well, I want to have... Uh, Okay, now, like, for example, medical components. 300 is way too high a number for that. Way too high. On the other hand, steel plates, 2,000 might not be enough to keep on hand. Uh, large and small tubes, 300 is probably reasonable. Motors, 150 to 300, somewhere in there. And so on. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's something. Like, for example, right now, there are no metal grids in the system. And aren't I carrying some? Yes, I am. So, let me go ahead and dump these in here. And then we look up here. Metal grids has updated to, show, to reflect what I just put into storage. All right. Okay. I'm, I'll admit, I'm fumbling around a little bit here. I am still fairly new to space engineers. I've only been playing uh, for the better part of just a few months and uh, at that, not all the time because I have many other things I need to be concerned with and I can't spend as much time with this as I'd like to. But I'm learning and that's the main thing. Uh, I'm going to work on some ideas for uh, what I want to do in the way of an airlock and let's see, I think I ought to go ahead and uh, put down some tankage. Let's see, an oxygen tank and a hydrogen tank. Now, hydrogen tanks, I understand, are fracking huge. Uh, let's see, yeah. Yeah, they are. That's like what? A three by three? Five by five? OMG, that thing is monster. <laughs> yeah, that is really monster. All right, let's, at the very least. Oh, I really wish I'd stop hitting keys that I don't mean to hit. that there. What do I need? Steel plate. Of course. See, I didn't mean to hit Q. I meant I, I aimed for W and hit Q and ended up rolling when I wanted to move forward. hydrogen tank yeah all right I'm gonna get these welded up later and uh, I'll hook up conveyor system to them before I get them welded up so that I can actually see where they're going to connect to. That's easy enough. Just drill this block out, or grind it out, excuse me. Let 
let me know where to connect the uh, conveyor system. Let's see, it's one block this way and two blocks that way. So, turn the suit light on. going to be right about there. Let's see if I guessed it right. Yes, I did. So I'll need to put conveyors there and there and then put in some tubes to hook it up to the system. And those will be good. And then we'll start storing our oxygen and hydrogen. And I'm going to go ahead and finish those up off camera. I know without even looking that I have almost certainly run over on time but made a little bit of progress got some stuff done got some information available and I'm going to look into the um, stuff that is going to balance out uh, our uh, load to the refineries somewhat and uh, see if I can get that figured out so that I can do it without screwing up because otherwise I will be screwing up <laughs> But I may screw up a lot, but I'm learning. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.